Do, 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 do. What is going on, everybody, and welcome to a patch notes update. Yeah, and this one actually is pretty good, at least for one part of the update, anyway. So, as always, sit back, shut up, relax, and I. <laughs> God dang it. I just want to do one thing right. You're going to deny me. Internet lost connection. Mm, yeah, I don't think so. So anyway, this update has multiple things coming to it, but not only do we have a brand new campaign ship with a brand new feature that is, I believe, going to be tested and then possibly implemented into a future update with other ships uh, and possibly upgrade the carriers even further, too. Uh, this is just what I'm believing. But anyway, it's a June update for 2024. Which is being known as, according to the patch notes, Wings Over Waves. Kind of nice. This update will go live on May 27th uh, for everyone. Size of the updates, of course, these are important for those that care. Xbox One Series S and X is going to be 2,200 megabytes. The Xbox One S and X is 2,150 megabytes. You guys get to get a little bit smaller. Lucky, lucky. Moving on to the PlayStation 4, you guys are 2,093 megabytes. Well, PlayStation 5, you are the smallest out of everyone with this update. You guys are only getting an update of 471 megabytes. You lucky, lucky people. But unfortunately, just because you get your update done faster does not mean that you get to play faster. Because, unfortunately, bom, 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 the servers are only going live at a certain time. Which is... Kind of bad and unlucky for some. Moving on to the iOS and Android members. For iOS, it is 1,000 megabytes plus an additional 496. For Android, it's 1,090 megabytes with an additional 496 on top of that as well. Now, of course, Wargaming has applied us with a lovely code as well for this one, so please pay attention. But they say, Captains, Summer has finally arrived in the new wave at Adventures and fresh experiences await you in this update. Before you dive in, make sure you equip yourself for battles ahead and redeem this code. A86W7Y7BGG. This code will get you a lovely one big summer crate, five European camouflages, and five of the type 4 camouflages. So here's a quick rundown of what all is coming in the update. We don't want the rundown, we want to actually read the full patch notes. So, Sky Reaper from the Lowlands Campaign, I guess is what it's going to be called. This new campaign will feature a Tier 7 cruiser from the Dutch land called D7. Uh, I, I can't pronounce that last one, so D7 Provincen? Maybe. I probably just sabotaged the hell out of that. But anyway. This will be the first ship of a newly added nation. The Netherlands. Yeah. So we're getting our Dutch Navy on. Get in there. With her powerful airstrike weaponry and impressive fire setting capabilities, she will instill fear into your enemies. The campaign comprises of 100 milestones spread over 5 weeks with the catch-up mechanic being enabled. So, at least we're not going to get left out. Thank you. I, I wanted to know that. Um, catch up enabled to assist players who fall behind. You can complete all missions in both AI and standard battles. So, for those that like to do AI, you can still keep doing that. We're also introducing a new historical Dutch commander, Carl Dorman. You'll join your ranks automatically as soon as you receive the final reward of the campaign for D7 Preserven. Carl Dorman's unique base trait is Stop at Any Cost. This improves the damage and the shell gripping against other cruisers and destroyers by up to 3%. Hmm, interesting. So let's take a look at the campaign rewards that you will be able to get. Oh, fucking great. I love doing this bit. So. Bear with me as I do this. Without Admiral backing, you will receive... Breathe in. 50 common boosters, 6 European camouflages, 12 football fever camouflages, that's new. 
350,000 research points, 7,500 free XP. Lovely. 1,200... Sorry, 1,025... 125,000 commander XP, God damn it. 650,000 silver, for those that are interested. 15 promotion orders, one insignia, one accommodation, five days of premium will be added to your account. Nice. Commander crate, two big summer crates, six D-Day collection crates, and also you will receive the patch note base and a symbol for the seven Prozovin as well. I was almost confused there. I was like, what the fuck is that meant to be? But then I realized, and I'm not a tool. Oh, thank you very much. So, without Admiral bagging, the rewards that you receive will be worth 13,543 golden doubloons. I'd love to know where these get these numbers from. But if you add an additional 2,500 golden doubloons, aa, you spend it, and purchase yourself the Admiral backing, which I'm pretty sure a lot of us is going to be doing. I will be one of them, but not until week three. You will receive, on top of the rewards that I just stated, 50 rare boosters, 6 European camouflages, 20 football fever camouflages, 1.4 million research points, 37,500 free XP, lovely, 325,000 commander XP, 2.35 million credits, 750 golden doubloons, 30 promotion orders, 4 insignias, 4 commendations, 1 big spring crate, interesting, only one, Six of the big summer crates and a flag for the cruiser, along with an admiral backing mission that you get on a weekly basis. And then, of course, the tier 7 Dutch cruiser itself at the end of Milestone 100. Netting worth of 64,380 golden doubloons, says Wargaming. Now, if you just noticed there, within the on admiral backing rewards we said d-day that's right um d-day is actually going to be celebrating its 80th anniversary which is an amazing that people are actually still doing stuff to remember this iconic moment in history so to commemorate the 80th anniversary of normandy landings also known as d-day we've prepared plenty of new themed content complete dedicated missions starting from May 27th, to earn collectible D-Day cards, which provide compelling information about D-Day warships, the Normandy landings, and military decorations. Collect all these cards to receive the final prize, which is a Tier 3 Battleship Corbet 1944, done with a special D-Day permanent camouflage. That's interesting. However, to make it even more interesting, and Wargaming knows how much we love this stuff, it will also come with a counter of enemy ships that you sink with that ship. So just like the skin you get for your legendary ships that boasts off how many you've managed to sink, this French battleship will be one of the low tier ones that will also receive this benefit. Now, we're not done yet apparently. Moreover, several heroic ships that participated in the normal landings or Normandy landings will await you in the store during this update. These include the new Commonwealth Tier 7 Destroyer, Hayati. Now, I probably servitized that name as well, but if anyone remembers, um, when the ship was teased, all over social media, people were going, oh, it's going to be the next campaign ship. I even believed it was the next campaign ship. And I don't like going for destroyers. I don't find they're very worthy of a campaign. So I blank them as much as I can. But now we're doing a cruiser. Well, things are changed. But anyway, getting back to it. Hayati will be in the store with her thematic permanent camouflage with a counter as well for how many ships you have destroyed. Now also receiving this um, I believe for camouflages will be Texas, Warspite, Belfast, the Blitzwicka, and the, Arcan uh, the Arkansas. Now, when it comes to the Belfast, I'm assuming that it's the Tier 6 Premium Cruiser, not the Tier 7 Belfast British Cruiser. Uh, these ships will be available in special bundles that also grant access to unique missions. Additionally, don't miss a dedicated mission for the Nevada, as she will also 
be getting a permanent D-Day camouflage as well for whenever you beat the missions. Very nice. Stay tuned for an upcoming dedicated article to learn more about the events, the missions, and the rewards. Ah, the aircraft carriers have been revised. This is the part of the update that I'm looking more forward to. In this June update, we've refined aircraft carriers to make them better suited for any type of battle. This includes air spotting changes, an enlarged hangar with reduced restoration time for the planes, new plane fuel mechanics, increased the number of bombs dropped, however, they have reduced the amount of damage per hit, and even more tweaks. Additionally, starting in this update, plane costs have been reduced to, to zero. And there are slight changes to their econom economic balance. Uh, read our dedicated Ministry of Balance article, which we will be doing after this, uh, to find out more about the aircraft carriers. To try out the new mechanics of the top-notch vessels, you can rent carriers this update as well. So, yes, just give people that don't know how to play carriers the ability to play high-tier carriers. Thanks. I uh, kind of don't appreciate that, but anyway... Hakuru, Midway, Zhao, uh, and the Grav Zeppelin will be in the store for credits. Okay, that's how you get them. You're going to be able to uh, rent them out via money. Money, 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 money. Sound like Mr. Krabs, you know? <clears throat> Sorry. They'll be yours to play for only 14 days. After that, you'll have to... Uh, sorry, they'll disappear from your list of ships and will no longer be available for you to rent. If you've purchased any of these carriers before May 27th, they will remain available as usual. Well, yeah, I wouldn't like to assume that, oh, well, you you just rented it, guess what, it's gone. You're gonna have to re-get it again. Oh, I'm a little bit fucking happy there, Wargaming, that you're not gonna sabotage people. Uh, please note that we're removing all aircraft carriers from sale during the update, okay. Before returning into the store in the upcoming versions, we make uh, we may make a few adjustments based on how we balance the changes, perform, and of course your feedback. Okay, so for anyone that wants to buy an aircraft carrier uh, for this next update, you're not going to be able to. Um, so that's interesting. Ah, uh, the Golador Championship of uh, Jesus, Christ. it's even punny. I, I can smell the pun. <sighs> Let's celebrate the most exciting days of European football or soccer to the American players during this event. Score, goal, score goals during the Golador Championship on our new tab event that starts on June 10th. So keep your eyes out for that, folks. To receive rewards, patches representing 24 European soccer teams, soccer-inspired consumable camouflages, and a new sporty car permanent camouflage for the Tier 6 British cruiser, Fiji. Great. That's just fantastic. That's what I want to hear. And more soon, we'll release an article where you can find the link to the Golador Championship and check out the rules. There shouldn't be any goddamn rules, but whatever. Returning is the Warhammer 40,000 collaboration. The Warhammer 40,000 X Legends collaboration is back and available in the store. Explore warring factions. Right. Of the future and power up the forces to inspire your commander ships, crates, and more in game. So there's going to be that coming back. Transformers also returns, and the new Brawl Season shall return as well. Uh, Brawl Season will consist of Tier 6 battleships. They will get increased speed significantly, uh, buff their main batteries, and nerf their shell dispersion and gripping. When it comes to the season that follows that, Tier 5 cruisers that have been boosted in their main stats, including damage... Uh, sorry, yeah, Season 20 will feature the Tier 5 cruisers. They'll also get the same main stats boost, inc uh, including damage from their main shells, grips, and speed. 
Fleet Battle also returns as well, and unfortunately, I'm going to have to cut this one short, so I'm not going to have to do the aircraft carrier one, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Um, Fleet Battles will return as well. As always, it will be Tier 6, and Divisions can now lead into battle by a member or an officer with a role complete against other fleets in a five-player division. Enjoy the team spirit and rewards such as unique fleet trailblazer flag, steel, and more. Oh, hello, there's steel available. Interesting. Improvements and bug fixes. Oh, this is the dangerous one. So for all platforms, the Neverlands has been added as a standalone nation for ships and commanders. Well, yes, obviously, there's a new fucking ship coming. Fleet members with officer role can now lead fleet divisions into battles. Hmm. Obviously, there's a whole event now for it. After completing the collection, any additional cards will now be converted into 25,000 gold, uh, 25,000 silver each. So that's nice. Research progress and all bureau projects can now be boosted using research points. Hmm, interesting. Fix a buzz to cause some players to not receive rewards from an event mission. And fix an issue where information about medals didn't appear immediately in the service record. For console members, they fixed an issue that caused pictures and icons to load slowly on less powerful consoles. Oh boy. Mobile, you got a lot. So, for mobile, card collections are now available to the mobile players. The loadout screen on the mobile devices are now more user-friendly and allows for an easier upgrade boosters, melt camouflages into paint, and convert them into permanent camouflages. They fixed the UI glitches in the port on Android devices with the Adreno 7XX series GPUs, don't know what that is, and the Samsung Galaxy S23, Samsung Galaxy Tab S9, and the... I don't even know what type of... It's just pretty much they fixed the phones that have the problems. I can't pronounce that last phone. Uh, fixed a bug where the warning indicator provided by the in ingenious commander skill uh, sometimes didn't disappear when a player's ship it becomes invisible to all enemies. And along with other minor improvements, when it comes to other improvements they are doing, the requirement for the clear sky achievement has been raised from 20 planes shot down to 40 planes shot down. And that is all because the last bit of the patch notes is just copyrights from the developers of Warhammer and the developers of Transformers. So that'll be all for today, folks, for the patch notes. Thank you all for tuning in and uh, seeing me as always. I'm just going to redeem my code here. I should instantly go up to free. Bada boom. Let's see if we get anything. Probably not, but hey, it's worth the shot. I'm going to open them all together and we get absolutely nothing. Yeah. Kind of guessed it. But anyway, folks, we'll be here on Monday again for World of Warships where we'll be doing our weekly stuff. So, I will catch you all then. But as for now, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye-bye.